In the middle of Carl T. Lankford Park in downtown Orlando sits this pink bunny. It's Pepto-Bismol colored and it's made out of cement. I wondered what the heck it was, so I decided to find out. I heard about the bunny from a colleague who said she spotted the critter during a bike ride. But without an exact location, I headed to the park to look for clues. That's when I saw it. Word on the street was the bunny appeared around Easter, which made sense. But that didn't explain where it came from or how it ended up in the park. I did have one lead. The name didn't ring a bell, but I could tell my investigation was starting to cause a bit of a stir. And I thought you were an escapee from an asylum. And we were wondering what the crazy man was doing with the pink bunny. If I had a nickel for every time I heard a woman say that, with little else to go on, I was about to give up. Then the phone rang. Hello? Who is this? You want me to meet you where? Lake Como? But why? Hello? Hello? I soon discovered there wasn't one, but two pink bunnies, and the other one was here at Lake Como Park. Bunny tracks. That's when I spotted someone who had answers. Well, they were in honor of my former assistant, Chase, who passed last year. Charles Smith, from the plaque, is Chase Smith, Sheehan's aide who also worked for Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs. Smith died at age 41, shortly after being diagnosed with cancer but that didn't explain the bunnies. One time I needed somebody to play the Easter Bunny at one of the community egg hunts, so he put the Easter Bunny costume on and he was just a complete natural. Smith appeared as the Easter Bunny for the next several years, leading the egg hunts at Lake Como and Langford Park. And then when he passed, we wanted to do something to honor him. Using private donations, she had purchased the two bunnies, which were installed following an approval process from the city. What do you think Chase would think of them? I think Chase would be uh, kind of embarrassed because he never was a person that wanted much attention, but all his friends say it's just the perfect enduring memorial to him. Thanks for being part of our Easter forever. With the case of the pink bunny solved, there's only one last thing to do. Celebrate! Thanks for logging on to OrlandoSentinel.com. I'm John Buffett.